guys, I'm back with a new prompt challenge. Today I'm going to show you the next prompt and the two colors that we are going to use. And at the end of the video, we are going to see the artwork that you submitted in the past two months. So guys, let's start. Ready for a prank challenge? The prompt is treat and the colors are turquoise, green, deep and purple. I'm going to challenge you with a limited color palette, but do not worry because you can blend the two colors together and make them lighter or darker with some white and some black if you like. And uh, you are going to see that you're going to find a lot of variety in it. And if you want to participate in our prank challenge, you just have to use the hashtag or tag me in your social. I can't wait to see your artworks. And if you're going to post the artwork before the 20th of December, I'm going to feature you in my next prank challenge video. But yeah, if you have any doubt, just check down below in the description. So now it's time to be creative and have fun. So let's see my take on it. And if you like, just draw along with me. So for this illustration I wanted to create something for Halloween and on top of that I wanted to create a character that was wearing all the sort of treats. So my first idea was to create some sort of outfit that was reminding of candies and donuts and uh, I ended up like doing a character lying on a donut <laughs> and uh, something like uh, she she's basically uh, being submerged by candies. So this was my, my sketching process and uh, I had to rethink a little bit what kind of outfit I wanted to do and uh, how to push better the, the perspective of this position because I wanted to have the idea and the feeling that the candies were falling on her. So a top view perspective and uh, the candies all over. Um, after that I started with the line art and uh, the line art, uh, I had so much fun doing the line art because I had the opportunity to change the ink that I'm currently using and uh, earlier I was using the Kuratake, right now I'm using the new one is, uh, you can check in the description, I don't remember the name anymore, but it's very very fun to use, it dries super fast and uh, I was focusing mostly on creating like a bolder line on stuff that is closer to the viewer and uh, softer lines for the things that are a little bit more further from us. So yeah, I had to play a, um, a little bit with this and it was super fun to use and uh, yeah, it was a great experience to be fair. Um, what else? Yeah, um, I really enjoyed the color choice to be honest because I feel like it was fitting the theme of Halloween because having some green and some purple was like very very fun and uh, what else? Well, I mean, I'm going to leave you with the speed paint uh, and the coloring process because I still use watercolors and uh, I just use my my same process with the washes and uh, deepen the color and make it a little bit more darker uh, do over time. So guys, I'll leave you with the speed paint and uh, see you in a bit.
I just want to spend two extra words for the watercolor process. Um, I, I didn't have much variety in the colors and I wanted to my character to pop very much uh, in, the, in the composition, so I don't want it to be too dark. And the other thing that I was trying to push was to represent at the best the idea that the candies are falling to our character. And so I tried to do this very uh, weird shadows on uh, on the character as we have like a top light that is uh, that is casting the shadow on the character so yeah this was just my idea behind the coloring process and uh, the old composition and yeah I hope you like the final result in the end I think that these two colors were pretty similar to the villain Pran challenge, but I'm pretty happy with the composition and uh, I have to be honest, if I were on digital I would have fixed something, but I'm very very proud of this. So guys, what do you think? Do you like my illustration? Just drop a comment and leave a like, it would mean the world to me, thank you so much. So now let's see your submission that you did the past month uh, with the prompt book and the colors Viking and Tabasco. So guys, thank you so much for staying with me. I hope to see you next time and take care, bye-bye.